Acer's global press event, the Next at Acer event, has just wrapped up. And in lieu of a real event that we could go to and have hands-on equipment, Acer has sent us a couple of the new Chromebooks. They announced four of them at this event. They've sent us a couple of them, and one of them is the world's first 17-inch Chromebook. So this thing is going to be an absolute mammoth. We're going to jump inside the box and just get our uh, initial impressions of it. Today's video is brought to you by NordVPN. They're the VPN of choice for millions of users because they're awesome at what they do, and that's keeping your browsing safe and secure, whether you're at home or out and about. And if you'd like to learn more about them, head over to chromeunbox.com forward slash NordVPN, and there you can learn more and go ahead and get started. All right, so without any further ado, let's just jump in the box here. And this is a hefty box. It's a hefty Chromebook. It is the Acer Chromebook 317. So there's a couple things we can glean from just that model number. Uh, one is the fact that it's a 300 series Chromebook, which means it's in the more affordable price range. This one is slated to start at $379 uh, in the US and it'll be launching in June. And for that, you're gonna get four gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of internal storage, an IPS display. But there are gonna be lots of options on this thing to add things like touch functionality, a backlit keyboard, up to 128 gigs of storage, up to eight gigs of RAM. And the base model of this thing starts with the Celeron N4500. And if you haven't heard that model or don't know what that even means, it's Intel's latest small core processor. So these Jasper Lake Chromebooks, we've been talking about a lot that are coming. They're starting to get here. and while this is a pre-production model and I can't run a bunch of benchmarks for you and answer a bunch of those performance questions just yet, do know that they are right on the way and we're just gonna take a look kinda at this thing and get some idea about what you're gonna get for that $379 price point. As far as what else is in the box here, basic paperwork, styrofoam, charger, all the stuff that you would expect, all here. We're gonna get that out of the way so that we can kinda focus in on this very massive Chromebook. And I think this is gonna be for a lot of users. A bunch of people don't wanna carry around something this large and this heavy in their backpack with them, and I get that. Uh, but 17.3 inches kinda of makes you feel like, hey, I don't really need an extended monitor, I don't need to get my display larger to really get some work done on this, and this can be the only piece of hardware I need on my desk maybe, and then when I need to pick it up and take it with me or I need to go somewhere else with it, then I'm free to go do so. Now, that being said, this is still a laptop even though it's a huge one. And people are gonna to wanna to take this around with them. So you do need to know it weighs in at just over five pounds and you feel that and it's you know relatively thick and you know, so this is not a dainty machine, but I can guarantee you flipping it up, I, I haven't looked at a 17.3 inch laptop and I don't know how long, but I guarantee it's gonna be this cool immersive experience. And again, it's one of these things that for the majority of the time, I think it deserves to be on a desktop and used in that fashion without an external monitor or anything else. And if it can accomplish that well and go with you when you need it, I think it's going to serve a lot of people really well. So let's look around real quick, see what we got on the outside. We've got a full-size USB type A, a USB type C, micro SD card slot, and a headphone microphone jack. And then all the way around on this other side, we've got a USB uh, type A, another USB Type-C, Kensington lock, no fans on the bottom because this is a uh, mobile Intel processor. So uh, and I'll hit on that real quick while we're here. Um, this is the one they sent us as the N5100, so that's the quad-core variant of the Jasper Lake mobile processor from Intel this year. So the 4500 is the entry-level dual-core 5100, so Celeron N5100 is what's in here. It's the quad-core variant. And then it steps up again to the Pentium Silver, which is still a small core uh, Atom processor. And that one is the N6000. So this one will come in all three variants. Again, four gigs or eight gigs of RAM, uh, 64 or 128 gigs of storage. IPS on all of them, so good screen on everything. Hopefully we'll crack it here and see. Uh, so good screen on all of them. And then you can add touch, you can add backlighting to the keyboard. So it's gonna come in a lot of different variations at all sorts of different price points. We don't have those price points at this point. But let's just open this thing up. And I'm gonna push it to the side or else I'm probably gonna be lost behind it. And again, this is a review unit, so it just kind of fired on up here. We'll get that out of the way. And a couple quick things here. Trackpad is plastic, so we're not, no glass anywhere. But uh, it, the entire thing's plastic. Like I said, this is a 300 series, so this is not meant to be some huge aluminum glass premium experience. But relatively firm on the chassis. Uh, not a whole lot of give going on here. You get the nice little lift. 
uh, on the hinge. So when the when the screen goes up, you get that nice little bump up. So a little bit of elevation there. We got upward firing speakers. Uh, again, the one they sent us here has a backlit keyboard, which is nice. Not all of them will. Uh, and this screen, the screen looks good. Uh, it's anti-glare, and I believe both models, or all models that will come, whether it's touch or non, is going to be this anti-glare. So you do get a plastic surround around the screen, but the anti-glare just looks really good, and it helps when you don't have a ton of brightness to make the most of the screen that you've got in front of you. And again, I, I don't have a measurement tool on me right now, but it's decently bright at full brightness. Um, this, this, I would say, is going to fall between 250 and 300 nits, which is good, again, for a $300 to $400 Chromebook. Uh, and, and though the trackpad does not feel glass, um, the surface is nice, and Acer makes usually some pretty good uh, Mylar or plastic trackpads. And the click is really nice as well. Let's see these keys. Oh, that's a really good keyframe. Nice and quiet, but real clicky. Very responsive feeling, so that's really nice. Again, the backlighting's nice. You've got a uh, numeric keypad over here, and again, these upward firing speakers. And Acer actually points out the fact that this is an 82 degree wide angle camera. So let's just uh, pull this in. We might see Joe here. Oh, it's not a touch screen, sorry. We might see Joe on the camera here. And yeah, that's, that's nice and wide. So I'm sitting quite a bit to the side. I'm still in the shot. Joe's kind of off to that side and he's still in the shot. So uh, that's, that's nice too. Dual array microphones like most Chromebooks have on them. So it's gonna be good for conferencing if it's sitting on your desk. Overall, like I, I just like the look and the feel of this thing. Uh, again, it's big. It is a big Chromebook. Um, and, and I'm hoping that once we are able to run some performance benchmarks and all that kind of stuff, that the claims that Intel's made about Jasper Lake, about these new small core processors, they have uh, smaller processes. So uh, I can't remember the nanometers, but I think they went from 12 to seven or eight or something like that. So uh, they should be more power efficient. They're supposed to be quite a bit faster and the GPUs on board are a lot better than what we've seen in small core Intel chips before. So Jasper Lake holds a ton of promise. There's stuff on our website about it if you really wanna get into the weeds with it, but ultimately it's supposed to be faster and that's what we're excited about because this, these chips are gonna be in a bunch of Chromebooks in 2021. This just happens to be the first one we've gotten our hands on. And what that means is you're gonna see these 200 to $400 Chromebooks have Jasper Lake chips in them. And so if they perform really well, that is a good, good sign for Chromebooks moving in and through the rest of 2021 because you're gonna be able to get your hands on something that performs pretty well uh, better than the price tag probably uh, would would allude to and you're going to be able to get it for a really reasonable price But that's about all we can say about this one right here 17.3 inches uh, Good display IPS great viewing angles good keyboard solid trackpad Upward firing speakers all kinds of cool stuff in this package and again starts at $379 Acers tend to go on sale a lot. So I mean imagine this kind of package for 300 bucks or even under $300 once we start seeing sales on these devices. I think this could make a great companion, a couch companion or just a, a small desktop companion for someone's home or heck, even in an office too. Uh, and, and I'm excited to see where this goes. There are other 17.3 inch Chromebooks coming too. And so for a, a segment that has been completely underserved up until this point, we're gonna have a handful of uh, uh, big boy Chromebooks uh, going forward. But guys, that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, head down there and hit that subscribe button and make sure and click the notification bell as well if you'd like to be alerted when we make future videos just like this one. Till next time, we'll see you.